Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Recently, Roku has brought back the Spectrum app, or probably more along the lines of Roku and Spectrum finally figured out what they needed to do to play nice. But either which way, that means that the Spectrum app is back on Roku. And not only that, the app has been improved to make it more accessible for people outside of their own home. In order to get the Spectrum app and or make sure you have the latest version, you're just going to look for it as you would anything else, and the app will be there. If you had it already, go ahead and give it an update, okay? Go to update your systems or something like that. What we want to show you here is the look of it, what makes it different than it used to be, and, you know, what's still the same. You'll see that you are able to pull up a guide and see the channels that are available to you. But something I want to make a point of is you see this house. The reason we're getting this house is because I am accessing this guide or this app in general from outside of the home that has the Spectrum modem. That, therefore, there are some channels that are just blocked. You see, if it has a house by it, it means that you cannot view that channel. And while that's inconvenient in some places, the good news is, is that there are a lot of channels that are available even when you're out and about. So if you bring a Roku with you on vacation or, you know, let's say it's a, you know, it's at a, you know, another place that you're going to be going regularly. But even when you're not home, you can still access a whole lot of things. Something I'll show you in this video is that you can still access ESPN. Any ESPN channel that you're already paying for, you can access it with the mobile app. You can also access Fox's sports channels too. Because you know, I know a lot of people, they want to see their football games on Saturday afternoons, things like that. As you see, we're going through. I can't guarantee that you're necessarily going to get your local network affiliates. Although in our area, we are getting the NBC and ABC affiliates. But if you check out here, while you can't get your Bally Sports, CBS Sports Network, the ESPN networks, they are right here. And that is not unhelpful, I'll tell you that. A lot of people use things like a Roku or a Fire Stick, you know, when they're maybe on a, like, at a vacation home or just on vacation. So many hotels now have such limited TV selections. Being able to do something like this makes you feel a little bit more at home in general, I think. Of course, there's more on this than just sports. There are filters. If you just press to the left on your remote, you can find all of the other filters on there. There's a number of them. A really cool feature on this is that you can also access on-demand content. On-demand, of course, is a standard thing with cable systems. And in this app, you can access on-demand content from multiple sources, and they do a good job of organizing it so that it feels more like a standard video service. It's not going to break down into sub-genres of sub-genres or anything like that, but these things are often here and free in the section called on-demand. And that's important because there's a whole other section on this called like video store and you know that's going to be all pay-per-view but if you take a look at any of these selections it'll show you what channel it's available on and just let you jump right in on it so that's a pretty cool feature there's a number of different choices and different categories in general another way to look for a content here is via the networks so if you have a favorite network, if you know that your show is going to be on a given thing, if you know that you always watch something on the Learning Channel or FX, you can go into this section. 
you can click on a selection and you can get a whole listing of the shows that are on that network. Of course, what is available is going to be up to the network itself. Spectrum can't say, we want 70 episodes of this show. So if you only see five, you only see five. But that's up to the network itself. The video store that we talked about earlier is kind of your, uh, just another choice for on-demand pay-per-view kind of things. You're not going to find your free stuff here. This is you know everything from things playing in the movie theaters to classic movies, things that you might not be able to find anywhere else for free. This is just another choice along the lines of Amazon or you know Apple's app, things like that. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. But it can save you a trip out you know, if you still have some sort of a video store in the area. My library is kind of like a history. You can go there and you can see the things that you have watched. You can, you know, you don't have to keep it in there, but you know, if you started something and want to finish it, that's a good place to check. And again, the guide is the same kind of guide that you've been dealing with for years with TV. This is really a pretty helpful little app. And the fact that you can access so much content without being home now is really cool. This is you know, a good way to see a lot of things that you want to see. But just understand what the limitations are before, you know, before you're out and about. You go, oh no, I thought I could get this without, the, without being home. Maybe set it up on your phone or something like that away from home so that you know the capabilities. In general though, I'm sure a lot of people are happy to see the Spectrum app back on Roku. Spectrum app is available on Apple TV as well, so you know it's not just a Roku thing, but it's not uniformly available everywhere, so don't just assume that you can get it on every streaming device. Definitely check your app store. I hope you found that was helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Help us spread the news. Click the bell so that you find out when we've got something new coming out. And share this with your friends, especially those who need it. Till then, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.